Good morning. I'm Marie Harrison. Every single Sunday morning for many, many years, Pastor Beatty's wife, Miss Beth, has been serving back in our Noah's Ark area, teaching the five-year-olds every single week. Now, she's always there to greet the kids with a big smile when they come in the room and sing songs and play games with them. But when Miss Beth teaches, she's never all alone. She always has a furry friend to help her. This is Whiskers. And Whiskers is Miss Beth's puppet that helps her teach each and every week. Now, it's been a lot of years since my own children were five years old and in Miss Beth's class, but when I asked them about Whiskers, instantly their faces lit up and they got so excited. They recalled how Whiskers would tell jokes or how Whiskers would lead them in learning the Bible memory verse each week or even how Whiskers would introduce the Bible story. Whiskers is quite popular, it turns out. But I have a question for you. When Whiskers speaks, is it really Whiskers talking? Well, of course not. Whiskers is a puppet. Whiskers only says whatever I tell him to say, or Miss Beth, or whoever is holding him. And it turns out that Whiskers the puppet is a lot like the prophet Isaiah in the Bible. A prophet is someone that God gives a special message to go out and deliver to his people. And Isaiah was probably one of the most famous prophets in all of the Bible. Even though Isaiah lived almost 700 years before Jesus was born, Isaiah still told the people that God was going to send a son, that he would be born in Bethlehem, and that he would grow up to be a mighty God and the Savior of the world. And all of that came true 700 years later when Jesus was born. So how did Isaiah know all of that? Well, the answer is simple. God told him. But how did Isaiah even become one of God's puppets, one of God's prophets? Well, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, Isaiah recalls how one day, suddenly, God appeared before him. He saw God sitting on his throne, surrounded by seraphim, by angels. And they were using their wings to cover God's face, to cover his hands, and to cover his feet. And Isaiah said God's robe filled the whole temple around him. And then, standing in the presence of God, the creator of everything, Isaiah did the only thing he could possibly do. He fell down to his knees and he said, Woe is me. I am a sinner. I've done bad things. I'm not worthy to be standing here in front of God. And then Isaiah said one of the seraphim picked up a hot burning coal from around the altar of God. And he flew down and touched the coal to Isaiah's lips and said, You are clean. You have been forgiven. And then Isaiah heard the voice of God say, who will go? Who shall we send? And Isaiah instantly said, here I am, send me. Isaiah didn't know what he was volunteering for, but Isaiah wanted to do anything that God asked him to do. And it turns out God had a big plan for Isaiah. Because Isaiah was humble because he admitted he had sinned and asked forgiveness and was willing to do anything that God wanted, God sent Isaiah out to be his puppet. Isaiah would speak to the people, but it wasn't Isaiah's words and thoughts. It was God's words and God's thoughts. Isaiah was like God's puppet. 
he was willing to let God use him wherever God wanted. And each one of us can be God's puppets here on earth too. If, like Isaiah, we're willing to be humble, we're willing to admit when we've done wrong and ask forgiveness, and we're willing to do whatever God calls us to do. Maybe God will use you to teach back in Noah's Ark like Miss Beth. Or maybe God will ask you to come up here on stage and do a children's message like Miss Marie. Or maybe God will ask you to go and sit with the person who's all alone on the playground or in the cafeteria or the new face here at church. Who knows how God can use each and every one of us but if we want to be God's puppets here on earth, we have to be like Isaiah and be willing to go wherever God may send us. Will you pray with me? God, we thank you so very much for Isaiah and the example he gave to each one of us. Lord, we want to be just like Isaiah and be used by you as your puppet here on earth. God, please use us to spread your love and the message of Jesus to everyone we meet here on earth. Help us open our hearts and our minds and be ready to hear and go wherever you may send us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.